as Imeo Coalition Deputy Leader Martha Carua was accompanied by other members to address the members of the press concerning the state of governance. The coalition which seems to have taken up the opposition role with entirety came out to lament about the appointments and reforms done by the head of state. Karua was flanked by her leader and the concluded August elections powerful contestant Rayla Odinga and Mekau Mutua. Karua alongside the opposition has harshly deferred with President Ruto's involvement in IEBC affairs terming this as an infringement of the Commission's laws. She laments that President Ruto is trying to have an act amended so that he can have a selection panel that will create a commission after his own heart after Wafula Chebukati retires in January. The former Justice CS cites that the President should instead leave the panel to do their selection without external interference. Very briefly, to remind William Ruto, he is acting outside of the law. The Commission Act clearly says six months to the end of the term of the chairman. A selection panel must be formed to start the journey of finding the new chair. Chebukati's term ends in January. And instead of forming a panel, William Ruto is busy trying to have the act amended so that he can have a selection panel that will create a commission after his own heart. The commission is for all Kenyans, not for one person. He must be compelled to move to appoint a selection panel. And Chebukati, Gulie, and Molu should already be on leave, on terminal leave. It should have started on the 1st of November. They is insist on illegally presiding over a by-election in order to give us convoluted results like they gave us convoluted results of the general election. We will not tire to remind Kenyans that if we drop our vigilance, we are in for a ruthless dictator than we have ever seen and than that has not been witnessed in this region. We are therefore saying time is up let's have a panel for selecting another three commissioners of the IABC and let the commissioners whose term is unexpired take over IABC this witch hunt in parliament is intended to prevent the four commissioners and especially the deputy chair from taking over as provided by the law. It is totally a travesty of justice. And once again, let Kenyans of goodwill stand together to stop this. And just if we were to accept their convoluted figures, may they remember that according to their figures, 6.9 million Kenyans do believe that the four commissioners who are a majority stood for what is right and that the three commissioners led by Chebukati are the rogue commissioners who happily, whose term has ended, they should go home and let Kenyans move forward with commissioners selected from among people of integrity to lead this nation to the next phase. We want to encourage the four commissioners to act within the law. They are the majority they should do what is right for this country. Thank you.